Welcome everybody. Uh, we are here in Amsterdam in a shared workspace and I have the honor to have Grant Walsh here in, over in the Netherlands. Uh, and we happen to be in a room with uh, a service hub and we thought this is the excellent opportunity to compare basically for you the service hub with the uh, Neatboard, right? Thanks Martin. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So yeah, today we're going to talk about some of the key features of each product. They're both different, they both do different things. So let's check out and see what they are. Tell me about your board, Brian. Yeah. What, what have you got? What features? So in terms of hardware, Neatboard consists of a 65-inch multi-touch screen with one camera. Uh, you can get this in by default in a table stand. You can wall mount it, and it comes with uh, with the floor stand with optional wheels as well. Great stuff. So from the surface hub, we've got Generation One here. So this is 50 inch, 55 inch, and a screen. But we have Generation Two available now. Available on a 50 inch and a 84 inch. This generation one has two cameras. The new generation has a single camera, but also has a new AI camera that's just been released. So that's the sort of hardware wise. It comes either like this, wall mountable, put it on the table, or even the option to put it on a battery pack on a trolley stand with steel case. So you could have mobile power. Uh, I've got wired ethernet. I guess you have as well. Yes. Wi-Fi. Wired, Wi-Fi. Uh, Neatboard has two HDMI inputs, so you can share content into the meeting. Uh, and there's a local input as well to share just locally to the screen. Same, yeah. same over here on the hub, so we're able to plug in, share our content. If you want to just walk up, plug in your cable and just do a local presentation. I've got a pen as well, that must be charged. You got pen yeah, with yours? Yes, we have a pen as well. No charge needed, so you cannot lose the battery on this one. <laughs> so you must charge these up. So well, what software are you running? Well, what have you got? So Neatboard runs Microsoft Teams rooms for Android, right? And you run... So this is a Windows device. So running the Windows uh, 10, you can actually put Enterprise on there now as well. The application we're actually running here is Microsoft Teams Rooms on Surface Hub. But for the end user, you walk up and no. hit join. And that's the basic thing, right? End users just want to meet, share content, do a little bit of whiteboarding, and that's it, right? So that's where the, I think the main difference is, right? The, the basic functionalities that are here, you want to have more advanced functionalities, then probably Surface Hub is, uh, is a good choice. Let me show you that. So I've got my home screen, I can walk up, I can whiteboard. That's something I believe is going to come to Android. Yeah. You can walk up and whiteboard. However, on here, I do have full Microsoft Edge browser. I've got Word, Excel, PowerPoint, even Power BI. The other key feature of the Surface Hub is that I can sign in. So I'm a Dell today and I can load my documents. So I can walk up and then start reviewing, editing. Let's see uh, what, would have, what, what works if you just want to join a meeting, yeah. right? Because that's, that's what most users want to do these days. How do you join a call? Show me. Well, how to do a, join a call, if the meeting has been scheduled, then you have invited the board, so just send the invitation from your Teams app to the email address of this unit. Then you have the uh, uh, calendar for the day, right? And this calendar here is shown on the Neat board. Uh, of course, it's also possible to have the calendar on the scheduling panel of Microsoft outside the room. That's where we have Neat Pad for, but that's a separate topic for now. Um, so here, basically, you can just press join and it joins the meeting. <coughs> And voila, we are now in the meeting. And what you immediately see is uh, uh, basically the quality and how neat frames uh, the camera. So basically, uh, Graham and I here are with two people. We are with two people in the meeting. And we are, as you can see, quite far away from each other. So the wide angle lens of the Neatboard is capable to capture us. It uh, crops us out individually and stitches us together. And in that way, they can, uh, you can see, or the other participant basically, can see us the best, right? Even if one person far away from the camera and the other one close, we zoom in more, make it equal, and uh, the other participants just see two people nice and uh, nice and equal. Brilliant. So for me, as a user, uh, I just walk up and I hit the join button too. And because this device is outside the tenant, from the board, you can look at the lobby. And yeah, so I'm going here to the participants, and I see that the hypnotic, nice, nice name, <laughs> is uh, uh, in the lobby here. And so I'm at the participant or allowed into the meeting. <clears throat> and now basically we are with uh, uh, the neat board and the service hub in the same meeting. So, so over there now you see the camera image coming from this camera. And on this screen you can see what is uh, imaged or captured by the service hub. So we have all our great features. So we can look at the lobby uh, on either device. Uh, we yep. can add reactions. I can still add participants even from, uh, from here. So that, that's good. And I see uh, uh, Grandma can give you some love. Thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> we love the Surface Hub, we love the Neat Board. So there are all sort of simple features that we have on the device. The other thing you can do on the 
the surface. I was actually multitask. So I've got this app switcher, so I can still look at my documents side by side, even before I share it into the meeting. So I simply hit the share button, so I can share the window of my PowerPoint, and as you can see, it's scaling to what my Not window is. I can step through my PowerPoint, and the receiving end can obviously see that. Now, if you upload the PowerPoint in advance, then that's where, again, the neat board, because it's touchscreen, you could then advance the slides. If you're using PowerPoint Live, which everyone yeah, encourages you to do now, it's a great feature, uh, you can actually advance the slides through the neat board. You get the, the left and right buttons to, to toggle through there. So that's basic content sharing uh, from there. Again, yeah. we've got the yeah, same thing from, from the neat board, right? So uh, we don't have the apps locally. So what we simply do is, or wireless, or via the HDMI cable, share the content from your laptop, basically in a, a simple way. And that's, this is the share button. I'm uh, having a laptop connected through HDMI. So this is a website which I'm currently sharing into, uh, into the meeting, so you can see it appearing on the, on the surface. So simple as that, HDMI sharing. They're almost equal, let's call it, in the Teams meeting. You get all those rich features that you get with Teams. Yeah. Well, let's let's try whiteboarding. So Definitely. I'm going to bring in my client here because that's who owns the meeting. And then that will be saved in my OneDrive. So it's all about security with Microsoft. So at this point in time, you can start or initiate a whiteboard from a Microsoft Teams room on an Android device. Though that functionality is uh, coming, is on a Microsoft roadmap. Oh, you're fast already. <laughs> well, let's see, yeah, let's play this, play this game. So we can whiteboard from any device. So I've got my Definitely. iPad here, we've got the Surface Hub in the whiteboard mode, and we've got the Teams rooms on Android. Neat board with whiteboard too. So yep. anyone can be a winner. So those are basically the three basic functions, right? I mean, joining a meeting or doing a meeting, sharing content, and uh, doing a bit of whiteboarding. So I think, yeah, to, to summarize, it can be used in any space, whether it's portable or fixed. Yeah. Support your Microsoft Teams workflow, your meetings, scheduling, I uh, woke up and whiteboard, that'll come to the, that device soon. We can do it today on here. They're all equal. I think the real difference is obviously the Surface Hub. Based on the Windows platform, you can then sideload or have any applications that your corporate policy pushes out and be able to use these third party apps. You know, the other thing is all managed from Teams Admin Center. You manage the neat board, yeah, same yeah. there. You manage the Surface Hub now in the Teams Admin Center and soon also the Microsoft Teams Room Premium. So I've been able to monitor and have it managed through that platform coming to both at a later date too. Any other thoughts? No, I think we should keep it as simple as, as uh, the whole products, both products are actually. So again, to repeat and to conclude, I would say, uh, if you want to meet content share or whiteboard, I mean, meet board is the way to go. Do you want to have more, uh, more options, uh, the ability to open documents locally and then have more apps locally, then the Surface Hub is your, uh, your best friend. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah good. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.